There are signs of hope beginning to surface now in Bradford, Pennsylvania today. Thousands of people there still have no running water. All of this because of a huge water main break from yesterday that has pretty much turned that city into a ghost town. Crews are making some progress tonight, completing the first round of emergency repairs just hours ago. But the city tonight, still days away from returning to normal. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has spent all day in Bradford, PA, talking to people left high and dry in this state of emergency. And as you can see, nothing. Um, and it's funny because I will automatically go over like this. <laughs> To get something. This is what residents in Bradford, Pennsylvania are going through, thanks to sub-zero temperatures that broke a 24-inch water main on Monday. It, it makes you appreciate what you do use because, uh, I mean, doing dishes, you can't, you just can't do anything like that. The break caused the city's water system to run completely dry, and having no water means people are now resorting to using snow just so they can use their toilets. Yes, that works. It's not fun, but it works. We're melting a lot of snow, which takes more than what we thought. The situation has virtually shut down the city, with schools and major businesses closed, such as Zippo and the Bradford Refinery. And under the emergency declaration, all establishments that prepare or serve food are also out of business until the water situation is fixed. What it's been like going to stores to try to buy water? It's terrible. There's no water to be found. New York State and FEMA are assisting as critical water is delivered via tank trucks and National Guard water buffaloes to the hospital and local nursing homes. And for residents, distribution centers are set up at fire halls where people can get one case of bottled water per family. Handing it out, like I said, in a steady stream and making sure everybody that needs it gets it. The Bradford City Fire Department has also set up these portable ponds filled with creek water. And we're using this to flush toilets. Surrounding communities and their fire companies have stepped up big as they scramble to help their neighbors in the Tuna Valley. And many individuals, like Rick Mafal from Olean, are buying and bringing in water on their own. And there's a lot of old friends here, and I just want to make sure they have something to drink. Coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you what's being done to fix the problem and how it could take quite a long time to get this water system back to normal. In Bradford, Pennsylvania, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.